Hi everyone, it's Amy from the West Caldwell Library and I'm here to share a story with you today. I'm so happy to be reading Bears Make the Best Reading Buddies. It's written by Carmen Oliver and illustrated by Jean Claude. At the beginning of the school year, Mrs. Fitz P assigned reading buddies but Adelaide didn't need one. She already had her own. Don't be scared, Adelaide coaxed. Come in. Let's see the teacher. Ah, she says. Wait, Adelaide said. Bears make the best reading buddies. And I'll tell you why. Bears know how to sniff out a good book with their super powered snouts. They're wild about adventures and mysteries and fairy tales. I just love the hat the bear is wearing there. They know how to build peaceful places where no one bothers you while you read. And they sit side by side, knee to knee, and put the book between you so you both can see. Bears listen with their super sensitive ears while you sound out the words. And if you get frustrated, they wrap you up in warm bear hugs. What a good friend. Oh, and their claws are perfect page flipping tools. Most of the time. Rip. Looks like there's been a little accident here with those bear claws. But don't worry. They always carry a spare jar of honey for making repairs. That's very smart of the bear. Bears know you never run away from hard to pronounce words. They challenge you to look at the pictures and chew over the possibilities. And when you get it right, roar! They stand on their hind legs and roar so you'll keep going. And finally, when you come to the end of your book, bears are always hungry for more especially books about salmon fishing and berry picking. Bears know that once you get a taste of books, you'll discover trail after trail of adventure and clamber on to new heights. And that is why bears make the very best reading buddies. Adelaide finished. And there they are, Adelaide and her reading buddy saying goodbye to her classmates. I'll read to you, Adelaide said, and then you can read to me. And when Adelaide started to read, Bear burrowed in and got lost in the story. <sighs> the end. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's wonderful story, and I hope you get to settle down and get cozy with some books at home with a reading buddy of your own. Have a great day, everyone.